We think of the building at Warren and Drexel very fondly. It served its purpose. It was built to be a bar. They could not get a liquor license. And we occupied it. And we grew to where we had to go uh, to a school building. I still remember standing at the door of that first building and being anxious for people to come. And thank God that they did. We began to reach the neighborhood. In those days, I walked the street probably six hours a day, knocking on doors, and God really blessed. When we moved into Brainerd School, we had a high of 480 people. When we were in Brainerd School, we started our first, our first building, and um, when we ran out of money, God sent along Tommy Wallace that came and volunteered his talent. He was a builder, custom home builder, and he built our building with his uh, suppliers. And they got a mortgage for us, and we were able to move into that building. Our folks did an awful lot of work in that building. Came to the place to where we would go up and down. We knew we had the building, we were going to grow. We built our second building, which was our auditorium. held the oceans in his hands who has numbered every grain of sand kings and nations tremble at his voice all creation rises to rejoice behold victory class and just does everything around here. Each of them do. Barry has worked very hard for this uh, time that we're having.
Every power on earth and in heaven is a shadow in his light. No authority, law, or government challenges his sovereign might. His reign and rule have no boundary, all that is his hands have wrought. Nothing ever can, nothing ever will overcome the Lord our God. We are well aware we were orphans once, bent and broken in our shame. Then he sought us out and adopted us, now we bear his royal name. Every sin or crime we have ever done is no match for Jesus' blood. Nothing ever can, nothing ever will overcome the Lord our God. Oh!